And we're back. And when I meant two seconds, I meant a whole day. Because that's how long I set the days apart. So, rip. Anywho, we're back. I probably gotta get over there. The only way to get over there is, uh, science. I'm not exactly sure. Hmm. It's probably gotta do something with that. Oh, I see it. Never mind. I'm dumb. Yeah. There we go. Got it. There's a thousand tests performed every day here in our mission spheres. I mm. can personally oversee every one of them, so these pre recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Wow. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those who are helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteer to be injected with praying men. Well, that's good. Nothing better than good old Mantis Men. Good old Mantis Men. Welcome to test subjects. Please sign in with the receptionist before proceeding to the lounge. Easy. Cave Johnson. Isn't that ironic? Wow. Look at all your awards. Hi, 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 cave. What a face. Anyway. That's nice ashtray. This place is doing pretty well for... How many years? I, I didn't... I didn't pay attention. A lot. For a lot of years. So, I'm surprised we made that. Hey, the elevator works. I'm surprised. I didn't follow the blue line. Oh, you're back with a vengeance. Well, now we have Portal 2. So whoop de doo. Um, oh, there we go. I didn't like that. I didn't like that noise. Making sure that wasn't Riley. No? Oh, no. I'm busy. You have this game. Easy. I didn't like that, like, chewing noise. That chewing noise, like, threw me off. Let me in. Alright. Let me in. Let me in. Okay, guess not. Yeah, it's like a little chewing noise. Uh, ah, oh, there it is. Golly. Alright, so, do this. Do that. Then we gotta, like, go down a bit. Such a baby. That's so, I mean, you're not wrong. Never mind. Easy. Hopefully I did the right one. Easy jumps. simple. The blue line. Know your hazardous materials. Don't touch anything unfamiliar. Know your chemical hazards. Do not inhale fumes, no matter how good they smell. Push. Know your allergens. Pollen. Animal dander. Plastics. Antimatter. Simple stuff. There we go. 
Oh, oh okay. There we go. Yeah, but what's this way? Disappointment. Alright. Later. They Goodbye. Science is oh. built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand holding. Science. Oh, well. There are our test tubes. Alright, well, there we go. Anyone else see that? Like, as soon as I just walked in the portal, the event list went down? What? <laughs> what happened? That was spooky. Whoa! Anyway, bye. There goes the event list. I'm there at nine. GLaDOS is coming back with a vengeance. Remember, this test is unsolvable without an Aperture Science Portal quantum tunneling device. If you have not received one, please find a test associate before participating in any Shaft 09 Richmond chain, whatever center. I have to sneeze. But I won't. Repulsion gel was Aperture's first attempt to create a dietetic pudding substitute. It's true that gel is a sweeter, slightly less non-toxic form of fiberglass insulation that causes subsequently interested food items to bounce off of the lining of the dieter's distended stomach and out of his or her mouth. For various reasons, this product was pulled from shelves. Okay. We... Hey yo, pineapple. Oh, I would have liked to catch that, so that I could have been done with this quicker. Don't know why the event list just disappeared like that. I'll spend some time in between recordings to try and fix it. Hi ya. Just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. All damn day. Access chamber. I almost fell off. No, I didn't. Oh. Okay. Oh. Nice, thanks. Wait. Ah. Oh, I made it. That's surprising. Hey, uh, easy. Easy sauce. Oh. Oh, that's <laughs> not, no, that's not nice of them. Wait, yeah. Uh, I like the old aperture cubes. These are a cool design. Hey. No. Oh. Hey, uh. Make it easy. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered.
covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. That's good. Thanks, Cape Johnson. I'll keep that in mind. Bucko. There, I was wondering when it was gonna kick me out. There we go. That's a better that's a better design of my hair and stuff. Oh, I don't like that. We'll just do that. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know mm. if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator and makes a happy face. All you need is a happy face on a calculator and then you're good. the test in there. Back. Hmm. I like your style. You make up your own rules just like me. Being counters that I could acquire manages for being in a wheelchair. Get it anyway. Rams are expensive. It's pretty it's pretty mean. Cave. It's not nice. Oh okay, uh, we got uh, we gotta do our own thing now. Huh. What'd I do? Ah. Ah. Uh, eh. Like one, eh. What? Okay, there. Hmm. Well, fuck. Just gotta get this way. All right, that that sucks. Um, oh boy. Whatever. Yeah, that's one way to do this one. Let's just do that first. No, oh, I'm already done. Alright. Yeah, I'm sure this will work. Hey, it did. Nice. Don't think about it. It's that easy. It's that easy. Just don't. Just don't do it. If you're already doing it, you're already failing. And how could you fail science like that? That's pretty rude of you to do. Just fail science. Don't do it. We need science. Hat's giving me a hard time right now. My hair in general is giving me a hard time. Everything's just giving me a hard time. Help. That's fine. I'll now, take that. If you're part of control group Kepler 7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you forgot it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Hmm. Well, now that I'm up here, now what? <laughs> oh. You know what? I don't need this from you, game.
Oh. Alright, here we go. Where do I want it? I want it like here, no? Yeah, right here would be good. Okay. Shucks. Okay, we'll do that better then. What did I just do? How did I do that? I want to shoot it right there. What? I can't do that? It's not letting me? Bullshit. Maybe I'm hitting my head on something. Last try. Last try and then I'm moving on. Eh, it's not gonna like it. Hey, yeah. Alright, whatever. Hmm. Nope. There we go. Alright, that should be good enough, right? Oh, we can't do that. That's right. Yup. Yeah. I'm just seeing how long the timer is, and the timer is pretty long, so. I, yep. Easy. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. Does it really involve time travel? Remember, if a future you tries to warn you about this test, don't listen. Something about that seems fishy to me. Alright, well, we'll do that. And then get all this. Wow. Easy. Easy. This game's too easy. How do I get to that? Oh, by doing this. What? Huh? What? What? Hi, yeah. Anywho. No, what's the point of that? There we go. There we go. Let me just launch off that and then we're good, right? Yep, sure, why not? Bow. Easy. Don't know why that's there. Uh, ah, for that. Hup. I fell. What? Maybe a little higher. Oh. If you're hearing this, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalks between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like rejection. Oh. Let's go. Let's solve this thing. I'm not sure how you're ever supposed to solve that. Like, when are you ever supposed to think, oh, I'll know what I'll do. I'll Mash the glass. I'm upset that I just did that too. Just like, I'm gonna smash the glass. 
and with, with the cube. Do the thing. What? No, just give me, just give me this. That one. Oh, I did it. Oh, easy. Why not? Thank you. Let's go. What just broke? <laughs> Something just broke when I walked in there. Just like my event list just broke when I walked in there. What's going on? Why? Oh god, why? My channel shut down? Shut down my channel, Twitch? I'll end you. I'll fight you. Fight me at PAX, Twitch. There we go. Congratulations. The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Funny joke. What's in here? The next is actually where we're supposed to go. I pick pick yellow. Okay. What's this way? Thank you for your participation. Elevator to surface. Of course. Of freaking course. Wow, we're deep underground. Hey, yeah, look. It's Gabe Johnson again. Wow. Alright, so that was the right way. Disappointing. I wanted Easter eggs. Uh, up there. No. I was right. Um. Ba, ba, ba. Interesting. Don't know why this would work. Oh, I see it. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Got it. Any seeks? Any secrets? Any seek seeks? As we call them in the industry. Ooh, nice elevator. Because why not, right? Get that second one. Interesting. Hello? Cave boy. Hmm. That's like the end, or something. I think. I don't know. Hi, yeah. Greetings, friend. I'm oh. Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, testing. Right. Oh. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can Ooh. also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. Wow. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, Come on. please just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test related. Oh, timer's done. Don't make the noise. It made the noise. Anyway. 
That's another video done. Bam. See you tomorrow for the next episode of Portal 2. Please. <laughs>